Number 54. Alkaline batteries have the advantage of putting out constant voltage until very nearly the end of their life. How long will an alkaline battery rated 1 amp hour and 1.58 volts keep a 1 watt flashlight bulb burning? All right. So the first thing is um, what might sound a little... Well, we, we so first of all, what does this even mean? 1 amp hour, right? What does that even mean? Well, that basically means that uh, this particular battery has the ability to produce... All right, one full amp of current for one hour. That's what it means, okay? Um, now, there's several ways that we can always, usually always approach a, a problem. And um, what might be, I think what might be the easiest way here is if we think about this maybe dimensionally, okay? In other words, I want to know how long the alkaline batteries, um, how long it will burn. Now, if you notice, there's only one thing that's given here that has time in it, and that's amp hour, right? If I could somehow cancel the amps here, which remember represents current, which is I, if I could somehow cancel the amps here, then I would be left with my time period, right? So that's the power of dimensional analysis. Sometimes if this sounds confusing, which it does, um, we can sometimes think about dimensional analysis and thinking about how the unit should cancel, getting me to my answer. Just a different flavor of how to solve a problem. So now what I realize is, well, okay, if I can just simply find the current, I know I can cancel the amps, I'll be left with time, and oh my goodness, that's what I need. Now my thought process then changes to, well, I'm not going to be probably finding current within this itself, I probably got to use then the other information that's given. So knowing the voltage that's being uh, uh, supplied by the battery, 1.58 volts, and knowing then the power, right, of that battery, that's producing one watts of power, one watt of power, I should say, can I find current knowing these two pieces of information? Well, it turns out that we can, right? Not maybe directly as, oh, actually, no, we can do it directly. What am I talking about? Right, what's the formula? PIV, power, is equal to Current multiplied by voltage. So then the power is 1, the current here is I, and the voltage is 1.58. So then I is simply going to be, just divide the 1.58 on over to the other side, so it's 1 divided by 1.58, and we get now the total amount of current. So here it is, 0.633 or so. Amps. Huh, look at that. So now I found the current in amps. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one amp hour. Now remember, the battery has the ability to produce a full amp over a full hour. However, we realize that the current flowing through this particular flashlight is only going to be 0.633 amps. So I'll ask you then, how many hours could the battery, or how many hours can the flashlight burn now? If the battery has the ability to produce one amp for a full hour, and we know that the current that's actually being drawn by the flashlight is a fraction, 0.6, about two-thirds, right, of the overall current that's able to be supplied for an hour. Well, we would simply do something like this. One amp hour, thinking about this dimensionally, Multiplied by then, put a placeholder there, 1, and right now your current down here, amp. Notice what's going to happen. Amps go bye-bye, and what are you left with? You're left with the number of hours, right? That's the whole idea. So now take that, 1 divided by blah, 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 and who's a what? Come out to 1.58? 1.58? Really? Hours? Is that the same answer? Is that a coincidence? Well, it's not, and the reason why is because it was rated at one amp hour. That'll always be the case if you uh, fall into that also by the, well, I should say this, it's actually due to, I, I circled the wrong thing, my apologies. I meant to say that's because it's one watt, okay, of power. So in any case, we're going to write now 1.58 hours. That could be your answer, right? That should make sense over the life of the whole flashlight. You're going to burn it for an hour and a half. Probably not. If you need it in seconds, figure that out in seconds. Right? Easy. So that's it.
All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.